Is BitTorrent a massive pump and dump or could BitTorrent break out again? Welcome back guys, it's CryptoRocco here and in today's video I'll be giving you my analysis update on BitTorrent. If you guys have been following me, I've been making quite a few videos on BitTorrent guys. Um, we have traded some, I mean I've not really profited that much from BitTorrent, I've not really bought it here and huddled. Um, I did buy some here and I think I had a small trade here as well but I exited a lot of it at this double top. You can go watch my previous videos to find out exactly where I bought and exited but one of my thoughts were could BitTorrent be a pump and dump and I was suspecting it could be a pump and dump because of the airdrop but we haven't really seen an all-out dump I mean we have seen a pullback it, we were always going to see a pullback it was I mean people that are new to trading were, could see that it was gonna happen when you when something goes up this quick it always comes down and it went down to about 618 level I mean that was a really good entry I didn't buy it because I wasn't really keen on BitTorrent I had a small trade here and I had a small trade here um, you can, again you can go back and check the, the trades that I took if you guys don't follow me guys I'd really appreciate if you follow me I don't sell any courses it's completely free all I ask from you is a subscribe turning on the notification button and smashing that like button it would really mean a lot to me and thank you everyone for supporting me and some of my trades this year we've really profited from the Litecoin trade Ethereum trade, Holo chain and link, and uh, BitTorrent has not been one of our most uh, popular trades. But let's have a look. So, guys, what is my thoughts on BitTorrent? I don't think it's a pump and dump because it, it hasn't just dumped massively. There's, there's, I haven't got really examples of coins that just gone up. These are coins that I actually like, and um, so I do trade them. But it's not really pumped and dumped like crazy. It's still holding. It's dropped to 618 level. It, obviously, if it was more bullish, it usually uh, jumps from the 382 level but 618 level is not too bad now it's correcting and I think one, when you have something that goes up like this so quick there's usually a massive consolidation zone and we were expecting to see where it breaks out I don't think it's going to have a strong breakout to the high or to the low that's just my prediction if it does um, it could be a pump and dump I'm not uh, ruling that out you have to be open as a trader uh, but if it breaks above this level it could probably go slightly higher I don't see it just breaking out that is just my thoughts and why am I saying that why should you listen to me again please do your own research I'm not saying I get yes the Litecoin trade and Ethereum trade has been really profitable and Holo chain and link but I'm not saying I get all my trades correct but why am I why do you think you should listen to me I'm I'm just talking about price history actions so you can check histories of coins that has done something similar so holo chain had this breakout in September and then it took it uh, about what almost 200 days or but 130 days you know for it to break out higher again and it was just consolidating and going down and down then it had a massive breakout this is where uh, I was buying because I, I really like the price action and holo chain's got a bit of hype similar to BitTorrent. if BitTorrent I think BitTorrent will have another breakout so yeah just follow the go back and study price actions of what happened to TRX what happened to on these are coins that I always keep an eye out for because they pump really well and um, just study these coins link you know link had a massive breakout now it's still doing okay but when something breaks out then it's, it goes through a consolidation period again I'm not going to um, go through in too much detail but that's just my thoughts on on BitTorrent so if you're still huddling BitTorrent I think this would be a key zone if this breaks this would be the next support zone I mean I've got a lot of fib regions drawn you don't have you don't need them to trade those are just for myself because I like trading and like to see where price action reverses and try to get zones that's just how I trade but you don't need them the keys the three red uh, resistance zones that I've drawn up the key resistance levels for me and um, that would be a key zone this is a key zone and then I think this is where it could potentially come from there's a lot of Bitcoin jump from the 786 level and um, if you look at holo chain again I'm using holo chain as an example because um, you can learn from it holo chain I believe jump from the 786 level as well if I'm not mistaken boom 786 level so that could be that has got a, a lot of compliance uh, confluence sorry so that is a zone I'm looking out for that it could potentially come down to but yeah I don't think it's a pump and dump so I mean my 
thoughts that it could be a pump and dump is probably not correct but we'll see we'll see how it goes guys you'll have to I'll keep you guys up to date on my what my thoughts are and again if it does something like if it goes down enough and then I see a massive volume spike I see good indication of price action I might even buy BitTorrent I know you, I've told you I'm not the biggest fan of BitTorrent I don't really see the long-term usage of Bitcoin like most of cryptocurrency there's we haven't really got real world use cases um, and, and a lot of coins is a lot of speculation there and I, I mean I'm bullish on cryptocurrency and I love Bitcoin I mean I think Bitcoin will be huge but again that, that's just my thoughts don't sell your house and buy bit with Bitcoin and cryptocurrency because I'm saying so and I am a trader at heart so I'll be looking at price action and I'll be exiting that's a quick update on BitTorrent guys um, in terms of what's going on with the major coins you should always be looking out for major coins um, it's, a, it's a critical zone see if the major coins consolidates if it's just the sideways consolidation it would be bullish and I'd expect it to break out again or even a small pullback I, I, would, I wouldn't mind a small pullback because I can buy some more so that is what I'm expecting to see I don't see I don't think we'll just break out higher again after the massive uh, positive bullish price action I'm expecting a sort of of a pullback that is what I'm expecting to see for uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum we need to watch out for them and if we get sideways consolidation in Bitcoin and Ethereum what can we expect yeah, if you guys have been following me guys again I'm not trying to give you signals I'm trying to teach you become better traders and investors so one thing I always say is if the big major coins especially Bitcoin going sideways it's a great time to be trading old coins so keep an eye out for old coins I will make a video I'm quite busy lately so I've not really been able to update you guys on my old coin trades but keep an eye, on, eye out on my latest one the ones that I talked about in my previous ones are still valid um, Ant is the one that I'm keeping an eye out for Neo is one that I'm keeping an eye out for so keep an eye out for them I have got a list I'll probably share with you guys um, this weekend um, um, my mentors asked me, my mentees have asked me to make a video on a scalping strategy because I talk about um, trading my trading structure and and when I buy look at looking at price action. Um, I've been asked to make a video on a quick scalping strategy, so maybe I'll make that as a gift um, because I really appreciate you guys subscribing and supporting me. So I'll make that video and uh, I'll share with you again. That's not going to be a gospel. It's still d at discretion. I'm a discretionary trader, so I look at price action and make a decision on the go. It's not like RSI hits 70, I'm buying, or RSI hits 80, I'm selling. I don't trade like that because, you know, if, if, if you sold here because RSI hit 80, you would have missed this massive uh, big jump up. So I use every indicator to give me signs and I make my decision at the end by looking at price action. But I will make that video. If you have any questions on my technical analysis or you want some support, reach out to me, my email address at crypto. Rocco at hotmail.com is below. You can email me. I'll try and help you out. Again, I, I'm doing a free 30 minute Skype call if you want it uh, just to go through how I can help you. Again, I might not be able to help everyone if you're completely new. I can send you a PDF. You'll have to kind of educate yourself uh, on uh, briefly on technical analysis. If you don't know anything about trading, I won't be able to just turn you into a superstar. Trading is very hard and I'll just be sharing with you my experience. I'm not, I'm not promising like everyone else promises I'll make you a great trader because that doesn't really work. So I'll just give you share with you my thoughts and it will be up to you to to become a trader but being a learning how to trade is the best thing I've ever done anyways guys I'm going long I just I love talking about trading and um, so I'll just carry on so I hope you guys enjoyed that video that's my thoughts on BitTorrent so yeah I'm, I'm probably my suggestion was probably wrong it's not a pump and dump see how this triangle breakout that is a key zone and I've told you some of the key zones uh, for it to look out for uh, for the upside targets I haven't drawn them um, on this chart apologies would be this and then previous high so those will be two uh, upside targets for myself if it does break out but I'm expecting just sideways consolidation here and potential uh, test of this low so that's just my thoughts hope you guys enjoyed that video if you have enjoyed it guys smash that like button subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button so thank you very much guys smash that like button subscribe to my channel and I'll, and I'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much